We're back, people, and today we're bringing out Phil and Raheem Mostert, Miami Dolphins running back. Last year, he was a solid contributor to the team, and I think as the season went on, he got even better, especially after they traded for Jeff Wilson. I feel like they traded for Jeff Wilson. He saw Wilson play pretty well for his first few games. It allowed Mostert to get a little more of a rest. He didn't have as big of a workload, and then he just started playing with way more decisiveness. He was running way harder, and I think, you know, he's still got great speed, still some great athleticism, even even in his older age. And when he picks up his speed, he just starts running through tackles. Like, his power is underrated. When he is playing with this, you know, next level competitiveness, he's very tough to break down, and he had some big time games. Like, not every player you're going to have is, you know, going to be an elite top tier player. Like, the running back position, the Dolphins don't really have that right now, unless they sign Dalvin Cook. But I think as a role player, a guy, you know, he can be your starter, but, you know, not get, like, a huge workload. He can play really well. Like, I feel like last year there was games where, he, like, he wasn't running super hard because he didn't want to, like, risk injury by trying to, you know, do too much every single play. But I think, you know, with the lesser workload, he's going to be able to, you know, play at a more consistent level because when he was on, he was able to take games over even as you know just like a guy who's known as a solid contributor so hopefully going into the next season i think you know they have a solid rotation of a bunch of running backs you don't need to have a high-end player at the position if they have dalvin cook or not i still am pretty comfortable with the running back position going into the next year most are pretty scheme versatile in the backfield he can work on zone or gap scheme runs pretty much all of them and he's very comfortable but here on outside zone allows him to just get to his speed and he just hits a hole um, I wouldn't say he does anything too crazy from the backside of this play, you know, uh, from the processing perspective. He just sees a hole. He hits it. He runs through the arm tackle of a D tackle right here. He does a really good job stiff arming here too. And just some subtle micro movements within the hole to like freeze for a little bit of a second, which allows him to, you know, not take a direct on hit from these safeties. And he braces for contact really well, stiff arm, and you can just see the speed too. He's got really high, like his step frequency is super high. Like he is taking so many steps right there and uh just a fun player i think you know with him wilson uh a chain and Ahmed, they have a pretty fun group back there and then they had dalvin cook obviously uh then he wouldn't definitely not have to be the starter but he'd be a solid role player come in hit some runs as hard as he can because he's got still even though for being an older back i still think he's got some left in the tank because usually when it comes to running backs later in the season they start to slow down but i think most was the complete opposite he Maybe had a little bit of a slower start, still some solid games in the beginning, and then towards the end, he really just took off and even had was some. There were some games where he was like the best player on offense. This time, out of shotgun, just reading his blocks right here, he does a good job making this initial read, and then he just meets this safety in the hole. So he gets off the back of Connor Williams and then just runs this guy over. He did a really good job of creating on his own with this power right here. Like when he was meeting guys at the secondary, like he's not the biggest back moster, but he definitely plays big when he has the opportunity like he'll run a safety over he'll run through arm tackles of linebackers but right here he just sort of presses up into it he sees Connor Williams peeling back on 56 so he uh, does a good job anticipating that and is meeting three in the hole and does a really good job bracing for this contact lowering the pad level and then but still keeping his feet underneath him and you can just see him just create pick up those extra hidden yardages throughout the game and it's something that I think was very important to this Dolphins offense as the season went on because they were so effective passing the ball that they started really taking that uh, more away, lighter boxes. And Mostert was there on the receiving end to, you know, gain from that. And he did a good job stepping up in those situations. We got Mostert lined about wide here. He doesn't do anything too crazy on this base play specifically, but I wanted to show this just to show what I'd like to see the Dolphins do more of next season with 21 personnel. I feel like this past season, they didn't have quite the personnel to run a bunch of 21 like all the time like they did it a lot towards the end of the season once they traded for Jeff Wilson they ran it more and more but I think now with Jeff Wilson Raheem Mostert uh, Devon A. Chain and even I feel like Savon Ahmed deserves more playing time as well because he did pretty well in his limited snaps this past season and then obviously they had Dalvin Cook but just using the running backs in creative ways because like look how they use Mostert here you know you know, fake the handoff, give him the end around here, using him, I would like to see more running backs on jet sweeps, I would love to see A-Chain lined about wide, because he's a great, like, receiving option as well, but then just using your running backs in creative ways, and then it gives him so much space, and he still runs over that guy, just absolutely destroys him, like, 22 holding his head, like, Mostert was punishing these defenders uh, late in the season, it was pretty crazy to see. Good job reading his blocks here from Mostert, you know, they have the fullback uh, working this side on like some they're like running like a zone counter here and he does just a great job working off the back of this he presses to the outside and you can see like him make just quick decisions these games later in the season he was popping off these runs he just you know the counter step there press to the outside 
read the leverage of 91 the out here he presses makes 29 commit up and then it makes walker try to work to the outside of this block just based on Mostert's leverage here and he sticks that foot in the ground and then gets upfield instantly he accelerates he has elite acceleration obviously his best trait is that acceleration to speed combo he's you know still got that great first step and still has the great speed like one of the fastest players on the team which is crazy uh, for the guys that are on the team but yeah very important player also would like to mention i didn't put any like of his receiving work in here because it wasn't anything too crazy but he did do a really good job with his checkdowns he had consistent hands in the checkdown areas and then he would turn some plays into bigger plays than you ex would expect so just another area where he helped the team out at a more consistent level than like say chase Edmond once Edmonds was last season. Love this outside zone work here from Moser. Just watch him cut this back, find the angle, great vision. Uh, and you can see him instantly is already anticipating the cutback lane and then is able to still bend it back to the outside. So he reads this instantly. He hits this. He's already like looking at his angle. Like he's probably still work off the back of this, but he's reading the leverage very quickly and is already seeing this cutback lane and then hits the cutback lane and is but once he's like hitting it, he still stays tight to this O-line. A lot of guys would still try to bang this back and take this angle and they would run into 59. But he does a great job seeing this the whole way. Like he's already seeing this hole, but still bending it back so he can work away from 59, work off the back of his tackle here and just takes a great angle to maximize his yardage. That's great pathing right there from him. Really, that's a high level play that those types of things go unnoticed. It looks like he's just running through a big hole, but like look how quickly he's processing. He's already ready to work back up the field, bend this back on the right path here. Instead of trying to work this big cutback lane, he just takes a quick cutback and then works back. It's very, very nice work there from Mustard. I think Mostert really likes working off the back of the fullbacks. Like he had a lot of big runs working behind Ingold. He obviously had experience doing it in San Francisco behind uh, Juszczyk. So he's clearly one of the running backs that has probably the one of the running backs with the most experience in the NFL working behind fullbacks consistently. And just outside zone, working to the weak side here, uh, just lead, uh, gets kind of congested down in the middle, guard falls over, but he's able to pick up his feet, get around it, he bends around instantly, and then is still finding the lane while he's picking up his feet, jumping over the trash there, but still keep his eyes downfield, and then out of the jump, he's still, he's still a great athlete, like, out of this, like, little hop skip here, he's still did hit the ground and instantly accelerate to hit this cutback lane like this defensive end should have tackled him right there most running backs would get tackled but like that acceleration he has is still insane and it's just a big trait to this offense that because they have so much speed on the outside then you're having a guy in the inside like Mostert I would still like to see Mostert get like 10 ish touches a game uh, you know, throw some touches to Wilson, throw some touches to A-Chain, and then maybe as the season goes on, you lighten most of his touches, so then, the, you know, when he gets them, he beats just can be as effective as possible in his limited touches, but he's still, you know, a solid role player for this team. Good job with his patience here and getting, like, skinny through the hole. He does a really good job. Usually, he's just, like, running people over. This is a little bit of a different type of rep. He slows this down initially and then gets through this hole right away. Patience skinny through the hole and then once he's able to get to the next level he kind of wiggles through the defenders the second level uh right here you can see him get skinny so this guy is only able to get a little bit of a hand on him press up to 49 but not too fast he's not out of control here so then he can make this cut allow this offensive lineman to you know uh robert hunt to cut him off here on the side and then it allows Moser to hit the second level so good job from a patience per perspective things a little bit different there usually it's Moser just one cut go immediately decisiveness which i usually when he is doing that he's at his best but those are always not it's not always the best to do that in every situation and most are still nice to be able to see him do something different and still be effective most are just you know big play waiting to happen this past season especially on these outside zone runs i would like to see him work some more gap scheme runs too just because that's where he was most effective in san francisco when he had having those huge games but still outside zone really good job blocked up front here just reading outside leverage hitting this up here outside leverage work off the back of your blocks and then once he, get, he does a really good job just slightly changing up his angles downfield while maintaining his full speed like look at this he hits that hole maintains full speed his step frequency is super high like he does a great job he's got great fluidity he points the toe where he wants to go but he maintains the full speed while being able to get out of there it's great curvy linear movement out of most dirt special stuff uh he's able to create those big time plays pretty often you know for not being one of those superstar players he still was a big contributor for the team this past season good job Mostert kind of working off script here because like it's looking like it's gonna outside zone here but then it looks like they're supposed to bend this back 
and it sort of just messes up the flow of the entire defense but he's still out of like the corner of his eye sees that this is the open hole where he looked like he was going to go on his traditional pass so he just gets back to it gets up field and he does a great job with that first step that step right there with that right foot he doesn't just try to accelerate through he hits it hard on the right foot right here because he sees this linebacker is the best chance to get him so he's able to get up field instantly work through uh only able to get a hand on him and it allows him to pick up an extra 10 yards he does a really good job hitting working between the tackles and just taking the perfect angle to allow him to avoid those second level defenders without taking on like a big time hit Mostert definitely just has the speed to capture the outside like it's very important they like is able to get there uh he does a great job initially just getting around this defensive end he has to take this wide angle because he comes in unblocked but he's still able to get to the outside and still hit a cutback lane pretty effectively um these types of things nothing like too crazy but still important see nice footwork get to the outside all this block on the outside and still able to you know while maintaining that taking this wide angle he's still able to cut this back up really good work with his footwork he was picking up chunk plays all throughout this game versus the pittsburgh steelers last play them break down most are creating out of the backfield when things aren't pretty you got to be able to do this as a running back not every time things are going to be blocked up front you're also facing other professional football players you know people are always super hard on these athletes but they're also going against the best of the best nothing is ever going to be perfect up front there's instant penetration from this guy. He makes him miss. He has to quickly, you know, sidestep here. Great footwork, staying square still. And then uh, into contact, you got to be able to, you know, bounce off things, get to the outside. Uh, still has that acceleration to get there. Impressive athleticism, physical stuff, just creating off script. These things are important for a running back. And uh, just a pretty impressive play overall there from Raheem Mostert. And uh, I'm pretty excited to see how this next season goes, especially from the running back position. I think it could go in many different ways, especially if they sign Dalvin Cook. If they don't sign Dalvin Cook, I think you see the season sort of start with Mostert and Wilson while HN gets mixed in and sprinkled in in like some gadget type of ways. While uh, and then they ride the hot hand with Mostert or Wilson, depending. And then, you know, if one of them gets injured, because they do have some injury history, both Mostert and Wilson, which you have to keep an eye on. But they have depth there with HN, possibly Savon Ahmed. And then uh, I think A-Chain starts taking over more and more as the season goes on. But Mostert, Wilson, if they stay healthy, will still be a part of the offense because they still, you know, bring a skill set that not all the other running backs have. They all have slightly different skill sets, which which is important. So if you guys enjoyed this video, make sure to have a like, comment, and subscribe. And I'll see you guys next time. Peace.